Hi everyone. So uh, I stopped the posting uh, some um, videos uh, for a little while, but uh, here I am back uh, to you, and I will be posting actually a few uh, interesting projects I have been working on. So like five or six projects, uh, very interesting. I will be sharing those with you guys uh, in the following days. Okay, so today I am uh, showing you my code to analyze uh, images of uh, pavements uh, or basically any image with a crack. So this is this is a basic um, algorithm of image processing to detect and actually also measure dimension of a crack, which it, this is a new thing, okay? Because you always um, have a code that maybe uh, um, get you the, the crack, uh, if that works well, uh, you can get that. But what is new is that maybe you can now uh, give an estimate of the length of the dimension um, of the crack, which is which is important. Okay, and I do this by image processing. So this is what I want to share you with you guys today. Okay, so this is the file. This is the file of the code. Here is the code. Here is some examples I got from from Google Images from the web. And also, I will be sharing with you. Of course, you will get all of this from the link in the description. So uh, don't forget to check that. You will have a link uh, in the description where you can get all this the examples, the code, the reference uh, that I will uh, get to right now. And also, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so anyway, this is the reference. And you can have, it is like a full, uh, complete um, report of everything in this project. Uh, all the codes, all, everything, you have a table of contents, you have everything. You have the main idea, uh, you have even a block diagram for the algorithm, how, how, how it is doing. Okay, and everything uh, in the code and, and, and uh, that sort of stuff. So it's really helpful for you guys if you're working on this. I will be sharing also the reference with you. Okay, so let's get to the code. Now, the code is this crack.m. So when you run the code, it tells you, okay, choose the input file. Choose any input. So let's just choose any one of them. And okay, so let's, let's see what's going on now. Now, what we have is you have here the... Uh, the image okay then you get the grayscale image then what you do is you do enhancement of image now the enhancement uh, depends on a nine by nine filter and the blurring uh, idea of image processing and you will get all the details in the reference also uh, the the code is well commented for every line and every section okay so you can see uh, everything and every section so you will know how we got the enhanced image. Also, you have all the details in the reference. Okay, so once we enhance the image, we get a, a very high threshold, of course, because you have enhanced the image using the blurring of it. And then we do a segmentation, and then what we get is a, something like that, which is the corners of the of the of the crack. Then we do another round of image uh, processing, which here I made actually some very good idea. You know, I made some iterative algorithm of uh, noise removal and enhancing of uh, unconnected bar. It's very, it's, it's quite interesting. So look in the code and look in the reference, and 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 you will see it in the comments. It's very very uh, nice. I, I I didn't see it actually in any codes uh, online. So it's really it's really good and new, which is an iterative method until you converge to uh, the best image using using a lot of <coughs> everyday image processing algorithm we use but the new thing is that now it is in some kind of an uh, recursive iterative uh, method so it's very interesting guys to, to for you to see okay and at the end you can see you can get the final segmented uh, binary image to detect the, the the crack now this is not it also now i wanted to, estim uh, to estimate the dimensions or maybe the length of of this of this crack that the longest length here in this crack so how uh, how can i do this okay so there is a lot of, of ways to do it but since this is an image with no reference of what one pixel means in real length we need to use some image processing methods to esti estimate the dimension of the crack so to do this all i need all i need from the user all the code takes it from the user is the area estimation of the image 
in meter square. So all you do is that you estimate the area of this image in meter square. That's all. That's all I need to give you uh, uh, and to connect actually between dimensions in the image and in real meters, which is which is really cool uh, when you look at it in the code. So okay. So let's estimate this. I estimated this from the the the, the website. I took this image about 0.27, about uh, 0.27 meter square. Don't forget that we are talking about meter square, which is uh, quite reasonable for this area. Okay. Okay. Now when we say okay, here you have the final results. Here you have the detected crack, and here you have the longest length here. So it is estimated about uh, about 0.5 meter. Remember that this is in meter, so about 0.56 meter uh, for this uh, uh, half a meter actually, which which is quite reasonable. Okay. So um, what else? Um, okay. So I guess that's it for this. Let's let's uh, try some more examples and. Um, Finish. Let's try the other two examples I got. So, okay, you have the grayscale, you have the enhanced, you can see that the enhanced, really enhanced the image now, and you can see now it is broken, and with the iterative removal uh, noise, uh, cool um, new technique we have, we got the, the right. So, let's estimate this. Uh, now, from the website, I took this image. Actually, I don't have an estimation, so let's put anything. For now, uh, let's put 0.1. It looks like a small part, and you will get uh, so this uh, distance is uh, 0.3 meter. Okay. So what I put inside the, the the input is the area in meter square. Okay. So remember this. Uh, let's try uh, our final example. Okay. See the enhanced image, the threshold, and and everything. Okay. So let's uh, put some estimation. Of the area, and you get the distance of the crack. Okay, guys, so um, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you subscribe to my channel, and you will find the link for the code, for the reference, for the images, and everything in the description. So uh, thank you for watching.